Hey Run Junkies, welcome to Goofy's Race and a Half Challenge week 13, I think. If you followed along in the last one, you, you know that I've lost count and I'm not even gonna try to figure out how many weeks. I just know that we are 44 days from the start of Walt Disney World Marathon weekend. And this week, I really wanna say that I rallied and I got back into it, guns a blazing, but let's just face it, I'm doing the best I can with what I got, guys. <laughs> So let's look back really quickly. If you haven't already checked out my part one of this video, it's right here and it's how last week went ultimately. Short story though, I ended up having finished one of the worst runs of recent memory for me and I needed to take a step back and figure out what the heck was going on with myself and decide what I was gonna do going forward. And Monday morning, I wanted to start the week off right. Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning, uh, November 18th. I'm going out for a run. It's just about at, just after six o'clock. I'm going to warm up, uh, do some foam rolling, bring the dog, and go out for about 30 minutes. After a really lousy run yesterday, this isn't about mileage. This isn't about time on my feet. This is about resetting mentally, starting the new week off on the right foot, if you will and just resetting. Um, I'm not gonna push pace, I'm gonna keep it easy and a mere 30 minutes. I'm gonna keep the rest of my week as planned. Um, tomorrow is a seven miler, Thursday is a seven miler with tempo, then I have a three miler uh, on Saturday, just nice and easy before kind of a step back week. So I'm doing the bulk of my work during the midweek runs and then I have a 14 miler on Sunday. So that's how I'm going to plan out this week. I am going into this week not ready to conquer. I'm going into this week doing the best I can with what I got, as always. We did have another snow. Um, the cold front came through again. I tried to get out for, I did get out for a walk as it was coming through. It was super cold and then it was snowing the next morning, but my dog and I did get out for a nice long speed work run and I got new shoes. All right, good morning guys. Um, yes, it's Friday morning and there's snow. It's fine because I don't have a run plan for today. I have three miles tomorrow and 14 on Sunday because today is snowing and I don't have a run planned. I am going to try to get some cross training in, specifically strength training. I have noticed that I, I think a lot of the piriformis problems that I'm having right now uh, are related to weak glutes and um, I, I need to work work on that. So I'm going to spend some time on that today. Uh, probably do a bit of yoga, not too much though. Um, and then there's always, <laughs> there's always shoveling. But I did get up to Roadrunner Sports yesterday to get myself a new pair of shoes. Aren't these pretty? These are Brooks Adrenaline 19s. This is a discontinued model. They've upgraded to the 20s and I've heard good things about them, um, but I am going to break these in for marathon weekend, probably wear these for the marathon, um, and I may or may not, I'm not sure if I get around to it, I'm gonna do this. I'm going to go up and get refit. So because these are uh, last year's model, basically, and they've upgraded to the 20s, um, a lot of things have happened since the last time I got refit, which I think was last summer. Usually um, you would get refit for shoes every 18 to 24 months, which I think is a really good place to start. However, uh, because so much has happened in the last year uh, since I got refit, uh, the models have changed enough that I feel like I need to get refit sooner rather than later. Um, 
I've lost a lot of weight, which makes a huge difference. I'm going to, hopefully, I'm gonna to try to get refit here before marathon weekend, uh, probably right after Thanksgiving. I'm gonna head up there and get not only refit, but get a new pair of custom insoles. Guys, if you don't have custom insoles, I highly recommend you get them. What that does is that it cradles your foot even more. We have so many bones and so many muscles in our feet and we kind of neglect them a little bit, I think. So if we are wearing the right feet, right feet, if we have, if we're wearing the right feet, if we're wearing the right shoes, we, I know that that can help us out a lot. So I'm going to get to work. I got a podcast to post and, um, I will figure out what I'm going to do for my workout today. Now, late in the week, just a few days ago, I started getting really tired of seeing red in my training plans, in my training peaks, uh, training plan. And what that means is that if you don't do the workout, it turns red. If you do the workout as prescribed, it turns green. And I like seeing a lot of green, but this, there were a lot of red workouts. And what that means is that I wasn't doing a lot of those extra walks and I wasn't doing the cross training the way I should be. And I, I started to feel it. I don't feel the strength in my hips and glutes and I don't feel the strength in my core. I haven't been doing that kind of work. So over the last few days, I have rallied a little bit to get some of that work done. So I included some of the walks. I even went over time on my walking, which the dog absolutely loves. I did some cross training. I got some core work in. I got some hip and glute strength work in. And Saturday morning, I had an epiphany. I took a look at my training plan in Training Peaks. Um, last week, as you know, I I had just a horrible, horrible run. I was supposed to do 18 miles or 336. I think I ended up doing um, 248, which actually is the run that I was supposed to do tomorrow. I was supposed to do two, I'm supposed to do 248 or 14 miles tomorrow. I'm feeling pretty good. I may make a second attempt at that 18 miler tomorrow. I don't know yet. Um, that puts 18 miles this weekend, 19 miles next weekend. That might be too much running. We're going to see how I feel. Um, but I'm going to do this run a day. I'm going to see how the day goes. And then by dinner time, I'm going to make some decisions around tomorrow morning's run. I don't know. Um, that's the nice thing about flexibility in the plan. I love putting on your shoes. They are so much more comfortable. It's just amazing. And now what I did not realize is that my old adrenalines are the 18s and these are the 19s. They don't feel all that much different, but the upper is a little different uh, when I looked at it a little bit more closely. I don't care. I love breaking in new shoes and I really think that these are gonna help. I'm going to wear these for my short runs for the next few days, the next week, and then um, I'll probably wear them for my long run next weekend, but not tomorrow. So, um, oh, they just feel so much better. <sighs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 4.57 on Sunday morning and I'm headed out for my long run. Um, minimum goal today is 14 miles or 348, 248, excuse me. Um, maximum goal is 336 or 18 miles. It's going to be 336. It's really what I'm shooting for. So I'm going to try to do runner's math this morning while I'm headed east. And I am not, and I'm going to allow my, my first turnaround point at the halfway mark of that 248. An hour and 24 minutes. But if I'm feeling good, I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going until I get to the halfway mark of the 336. And I'm not going to do that math right now. If I can get to that point and turn around, that is my long run from last week. Tale of two long runs, right? So I'm going to get out of here. Like I said, I yesterday I wanted to be out by 5 a.m. And that's happening right now. My poor dog thinks he gets to go with me. He does not get to go with me today. Um, I need to focus on this run. I need to get into it. This trail back here goes another two miles, but I am almost at my turnaround point. Which turnaround point do you ask? Time elapsed. One hour, 44 minutes. 
I've done seven miles. I'm, I think I'm gonna turn around here and just make up some mileage and time in my neighborhood, but uh, yeah, feeling really good. Here's the thing I'm doing today. I'm running by feel, <coughs> excuse me. I'm running by feel, not by heart rate, not by time, I'm just going. I set cruise control at whatever felt sustainable for the entire run and I'm just going. Feeling really good. There were some beautiful, there was a um, herd of, herd, I think it's a herd, of deer out uh, in the field as I was passing by. Six of them, they were absolutely just, they were staring at me and then they decided, yeah, she's no threat, whatever. Hey guys, I am about three miles away from being done. About half hour, 45 minutes. Guys, this is the spot last week that I stopped. As I was coming through here, I was walking, and I do not remember the stretch from that corner to here. And at this point, I stopped and I sat down. I sat down right here, right here. Guys, I don't know what was going on last week, but I'll just say that that's not happening this week. Feeling good, feeling really good. Tale of two runs. I found victory, not just with this run, cause pff, yeah, but with last week's run. Guys, lessons aren't always immediately available to us. We have to take time to process and figure it out. No, I'm still not happy with last week's run, but I can settle for it being a 14 miler rather than an 18 miler. I've fallen short. You know what, guys? You know what just happened? I'm victorious. And that is how a comeback looks sometimes. Doesn't always look like it's big fanfare and trumpets blaring and you know a big finish line sometimes it's just finding victory where you can find it that long run last week still bugs me and it probably will for a long time but i do feel like i made up for it did a lot of hard things and i'm still doing them and i'm checking the box i'm just making sure that every box is getting checked as best i can i got new shoes i got a new audiobook and i gave myself time to reflect and make changes and process and deal and, and learn. So guys, keep doing the thing. Keep doing the hard things. It's going to be here before you know it. Now, as we get close to Thanksgiving, I do want to be thankful for you guys. I'm not always good at the social media thing. I do see the support and encouragement and the kudos and, and all of that online. I'm not always great at responding and sometimes I just can't. I, I need to set those boundaries, but just know that I see it, I read it, and I love it. And especially these last couple of weeks, guys, you've been amazing. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for all of you. To all of my new subscribers who are new to this channel, welcome. We are almost 2,500 strong here on this channel, so thank you very much for being here. And speaking of numbers, guys, it kind of came and went and I didn't even notice it until I looked at the numbers. We have more than 500 videos on this channel now. So thank you guys so much for being here week after week, day after day with all of this so much that we've been through together. Thank you guys so much. Guys, that's going to be it for me today. I am so grateful to all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a safe and happy and healthy week. We'll see you on the next one. And until then, go find your awesome. And happy running.